morning. I am doing the dry fill for the next two weeks, which means gym time is going to be way earlier. So I think everything you start seeing in the day is going to be all gym time. I didn't work on my quads last week, so I'm going to do quads today. As always, my workouts start with compound movements, doing squats. And you would think the squats build a booty. Not really. They actually build your quads a lot more. And that's why my quads were overly developed. Now, at least, they're balancing out. Oh my gosh, NOS. For anybody who remembers, NOS stands for Neurological Overload Set. It shocks your central nervous system. And because I'm doing that many reps at lightweight, once again, you want muscle tension. I can say that I feel like the fat on my inner thighs is a lot less these days. Final exercise, sissy squats. I do not recommend this for anybody with bad knees, but this is a great exercise to focus on the quads. You know, it was a good leg day when you're completely soaked at your body area. On a side note, I don't know why I'm so bloated. I feel so incredibly bloated. There must be something I'm not eating right. I did not get to do prep, so I'm screwed because I have no food with me and I'm not even sure the food here at office is going to be suitable. <laughs> yep, it's so not suitable. Nothing is suitable. Salad. Please tell me there is salmon. Nope, no salmon. So we will make do. And this is what I managed to salvage. Egg and salad better than not eating. Came home and made my fish. Today, food was off because I didn't get to cook yesterday. Here we go. That's about 238 grams of tilapia and 120 grams of shrimp together with baby tomatoes and mushrooms. The thing with seafood is you have to eat a lot more because eat one fish, I don't think it's gonna last and you just get hungry again. Meanwhile, my mom is the awesomest mom in the world and as requested by Gamok Gamok, she would like to see my mom a lot more. You got fans, ma? Hi! <laughs> That's her, her signature. Hi! Yeah. So ma, tell how did you cook and marinate my turkey? Very simple. You need some young ginger, garlic, sea salt, coconut oil, and then just a little bit of rosemary, thyme, and mix it all together. Oh, by the way, the ginger garlic, you know, you have to use a chopper to chop it finely. Uh. Then, you know, you spread it all over together with lemon juice. Put it in a bag and marinate it for about half an hour. You can't <laughs> share the smell. <laughs> My mom would like to share the smell of the turkey with people. Look at that. The turkey is ready. We baked it in the oven for about how long, Ma? Half an hour. Half an hour. 180 degrees. 180 degrees. Good morning. It's another public holiday in Malaysia. And here's the thing with holidays. It always makes you think like, oh, I can sleep later. It's already bad enough. I'm a night owl. Hi to my sister. Are you serious? Even my eyelashes are sleepy. Anyway, I want to show you what I made. Best breakfast ever. Not working out today, even though I am in my gym gear because... I stupidly slept at 3.40 a.m. in the morning. I know, very, very stupid. Why? Because I was watching a show. And also because public holidays, it just makes me think like, yeah, I, get, I can't afford to sleep in longer. No, it doesn't work that way because body just wants to wake up at 8 something, 9 something. So in the end, I only got like 5 hours and 30 minutes of sleep. So I decided to go and do some grocery shopping. This is going to be dinner for me. I don't think I'm going to eat all of that. I might save some for tomorrow. I love baby spinach. I think it's the best kind of veggie to eat raw. I got my Japanese cucumbers, my baby tomatoes, some fungi, bananas, lemons. And this I have actually never cooked before. 
So I'm going to give this a try. This I am going to squeeze and pour it into the ice cube tray so that I can pop out frozen lemon cubes in the morning to put in my drink. This is the coconut oil that I use. Country Farms. This is not a promo. Um, I just find this is the best worth for money coconut oil. You, I got this at 68 ringgit and you have a small bottle too. Here's something I haven't had in a while. This is chia seed with super fruits. Got this a while back, kind of drying up. This shall be dessert. Here's an idea of what my prep sheet looks like. Separated into different hours. Okay. And this is why I only prefer working out in the afternoon. Oh, I hate working out in the morning. Upper body day starts with standing military press. That's a 20 kg barbell. It's heavy. But I remember I didn't have that much difficulty last week and I didn't have to bend my knees. See, I'm bending my knees so that I can give myself an extra push. Moving on to lateral raises. Uh, I don't know why, but look at this video. I look so bloated. Whenever I do pull-ups, I always have my body completely straight. I don't have my knees crossed because I want to train myself to improve my strict pull-up. And by keeping your body straight, you're activating your core. I personally think it's way better than you crossing your legs or bending your knees when you do a pull-up. Session is done and honestly, I felt like I was not so strong today. Like I couldn't push. I mean, I did all the reps, I did all the sets, but just something was feeling off. <laughs> I think maybe it's because I'm quite tight and that's why maybe the movement's not that great. Okay, I'm rushing for time. So I need to go and grab lunch with the boy fee and then I'm gonna head to work. Came here and they screwed up the order. I asked for double veggies but they gave me rice. On any other day, I'll be happy but no, it's raw. <laughs> Good mornings. Um, this is the one thing I hate whenever I change to do a different shift or even on a public holiday because it makes me think like, oh, I can sleep later. And then I think I will sleep in even more. But the truth is I am not going to be sleeping in because my body clock just wakes up at 8 something or 9 something. Why are you so stupid, body clock? Just let me sleep, please. Anyway, it's going to be a long Friday, Saturday. Can you still see my sleepy face? I'm going to go get my overall body conditioning done, day done. See, can't even talk properly. And then going to head to work. Oh, before I go off, this is the problem I go through all the time. I, whenever I want to picture like what I'm going to wear, the mess I go through, I'll be like, yeah, maybe I should wear that. Or maybe I should wear that. Or maybe I should wear that. And I'm like, in the end... Let's take the basic. I'm not in like a colorful mood today, so I'm just gonna go with black or gray tights and a top. The make it count top by Under Armour. I'm on to my fourth set and my knee is playing up. I asked Ben about it and he was saying that it could be my calves, could be my hamstrings, could be my IT band that is tight. And then he asked, when was the last time you rolled? I, and I was like, oh, I can't remember. See, this is why it's important to go for a deep tissue massage or a rumble roll. For anyone seeing sometimes when I go for my physio and it looks painful, rehab is just as important as training and eating right. Don't ever take it for granted. My workout was not my best because something pulled at my leg. My knee area, just at the top part, and I really think it's because of my AT band. I haven't been rolling or stretching enough. Bad me, really. Come on, Lenora. Can you like get in your head? You need to rest properly. I'm gonna head over to Penang for the hot air balloon fiesta. I've got a flight at 10 p.m. and then my call time is at 6:30 in the morning. I don't know why. This is the food I have packed so that I can quickly eat this later with the boy fee. Uh, turkey, fish, prawns, 
and strawberries, which I'm going to take along with me. I'm just going to leave this in the car. And I've got an avocado. You got to plan, 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 people. You fail to plan, you plan to fail. how much I love soggy french fries and that kind of french fries oh my gosh I'm doing whatever I can to just not eat it look at that so fat and juicy <sighs> but no no touching no touching Shobana is so awesome she is actually helping to get my eggs, my breakfast customized since, you know, I gotta be picky, right? So tomorrow is gonna be a very early day since their usual takeaway breakfast is filled with bread. I can't have that, duh. So I ordered like six eggs. Two full eggs and four egg whites with mushrooms and tomatoes. Awesome. Shabana, you're so cool. Thank you. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Call time is 6.30, so wake up time is 6 o'clock. Uh, I think I would try doing this whole Insta-Live thing on a nightly basis. <laughs> nightly basis, is that even correct? <laughs> Whoever that's typing, you are gonna be seen in my vlog, so type away! Thank you guys for joining in. I wanna talk real quick about my workout today. And check it, I'm wrapping out my Meta Wolf shirt. So comfy to sleep in. And because it's big. Anyway, I want to talk about my workout today. I was not... It's one of those days where you're not feeling it. And I actually thought that I would be able to whack my entire six sets. But it was not happening. And the reason it wasn't happening is because the night before I didn't get enough sleep. In fact, this entire week I didn't get enough sleep. And it's really my fault. It's really my fault because I haven't been able to discipline myself in sleeping right but I was there I got my workout in tomorrow I really don't know if I'm gonna have time because to be honest it is now 1 43 a.m. and I need to wake up at 6 a.m. and I'm still not sleepy yet I blame it on the coffee I, sh I knew I shouldn't have co coffee so I'm gonna try and sleep and or rest or whatever and see what happens tomorrow this one here is so nice, thank you. He prepared my eggs. Super accommodating, thank you, Sunway George. I'm quite certain this is more than six eggs. <laughs> They're still left over at the, at the reception. Check this out! This is how they're setting up the balloons. Let's go closer. So cool. Look at that. I'm going to be a giant octopus. So again, once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Penang Hot Air Balloon Fiesta. Okay. So now I'm going to head over to the airport for my flight. The bed. I remade my bed just so that I could take a nice shot, a nice clean shot. And there's really good sunlight at the moment, so we can take a look at everything. On a very random note, I got my period. Which is good, because now I know why I felt so freaking bloated. Am I gonna work out? I don't know, because I only had like three hours of sleep. Not a good idea to work out. It's Sunday, and my original plan for today was finish my radio show, eat, train, and go see, do some editing for my vlog, go see my manager Sarah so that we can discuss a couple of things for the month of February. But when I woke up today, that didn't happen because I woke up feeling drained. I thought seven hours sleep would be enough to fix back my random three plus four hours of sleep from yesterday. No, it doesn't work that way. Your body doesn't work that way. So, I'm sorry it's not all mellow, but on top of me being tired, when you are mentally tired, your, you, your body is physically tired, nothing is going to work out right. And that means even if I want to train, which I really, really want to train because I've only done three times of intense weight training sessions this week, and I would like to do my hamstrings and abs today, that was my plan, but 
because my knee has been playing up ever since Saturday. This part here has been playing up and every time I bend and I stretch, I extend my leg, it just, it's not a good kind of ache. And that just makes you go like, shit. I'm afraid when I go and do my workout session that something may get injured. And when you're tired like this, mentally I'm not in a state of mind to be working out. You gotta be ready when you're working out because you gotta give everything you got. And I know if I go into the gym right now, as much as I want to, I'm not gonna give it all I have because I'm just... I'm running empty. On top of that, my period has really got me frustrated and emo. Don't ask me why. We got hormones raging. So fitness for a girl is so much more complicated. It's not just about food and training. You have to take into account when we go through all this in a month. I'm going through that phase. And what I want is I want a pretzel. I want a sour cream pretzel. I want pastries. I want like banana apple strudel. I don't even know what that is, but I just made it up and I want it. But since I can't have that and I'm controlling myself. Today I think I'm just going to go for a walk outdoors later if I got time and maybe stretch and rumble roll. I hate stretching by the way, but I think it's the most boring thing in the world and rumble rolling is just as bad because you have to endure pain. Week 5, not doing that great. Week 6, I hope you're better. Walking is great because it helps clear your mind. Well, it helps clear my mind and just the feel of the wind blowing on you and you looking at greenery is great. Takes your mind off anything to do with a screen, which is oh, so awkward as I video this. I usually wear a hoodie or a jacket whenever I walk because it keeps me warm. I know it's Malaysia, it's hot, but I also get a good sweat if I'm walking fast enough. Right now I'm taking it slow. There are pockets. I love this Under Armour top. It's one of my favorites. I wish I got the other color. And, don't know if you heard, but there was like the rumblings of thunder. So, hoodies are always a good just in case. Just in case. I'm done with my walk and the very light sweat was good. Do feel better. And nothing makes you feel better. This little one. She wants manja time, you. Watch this. Sayang girl. Mm. She understands Sayang. End of the vlog. And I'm sure we want to know who are the two people that's going to take back this tub of Pharma Freak Vegan Freak protein powder. Before that, I want to share the thing that scares me as I go through this entire um, prepping process, which is I'm scared I will not see the changes that I want. Because all this while, yeah, okay, people have this idea that I work out so hard. And that's because I portray that. Which is true. Back then, I did, I did work out hard. But I also did not know how to work out smart. I also did not know how things would react for my body. And so every time I worked out and I watched the food I ate, I didn't see the changes that I wanted. And now that I'm doing this program with Ben, even more so, it scares me if I don't see the changes because I have spent good money to get consultation and a person who really knows his stuff. So I'm really thankful that... Ben is such a caring coach. He's really such a caring coach. Oh crap, I'm gonna be emo again. It's my period and this is really because I am not consistent with my magnesium, so I'm magnesium deficient. Anyway, so Ben has been so supportive. I can't talk about that, but the point is that my coach is really supportive and the main thing that scares me getting ready for this competition is that I don't see the changes and I won't be ready for the stage. Okay, so that's that. But Ben told me to be patient. In fact, he's told all his clients to be patient. The changes will all come. And besides, I have 12 weeks. A lot could happen in 12 weeks. All right, enough emo stuff. Let's get to the part that everybody wants to know, which is who's gonna win this? 
I have written everybody's name into pieces of paper and I'm going to randomly select. All right? Randomly select and you're going to pick it with me. Okay. I don't know who's who. So I'm going to pick one small one and one big one. Okay? So these are the ones. Cheers. We'll be getting some protein. Ooh, first one is a girl, Angelina. When it focuses, Angelina Joanne Diane. Congratulations! You're the first person who's going to be getting a tub of protein. Okay, focus. Yeah. Okay. Next person. Okay. Oh, guy. We got Jack J. G. Jaga Diswaran. So Jack Jaga Diswaran, congratulations. You're the second person to get a tub of protein. So congratulations to Jack and Angelina. You are the proud owners of a tub of Farmer Fake Protein. I'll send out details on how you can get it from me. And for the rest, don't worry. It's just the beginning. There'll be a lot more giveaways. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe. I thank you in advance for um, clicking on that button and also watching this video all the way to the end. And do give this video a thumbs up because it really encourages and motivates me to keep on with the vlogs. Because I can tell you, life, working, training, trying to edit this stuff and other things in between is not easy. All right, that's it for week five. I'll see you next Monday with more updates on how I'm feeling and getting ready for comp. May the gains be forever in your favor.